Hello folks, in this video we're going to be having a look at smart meters from a 2024 perspective. Now I've had this smart meter from British Gas in my house for a number of years and I wanted to kind of do a little review on smart meters and talk about some, um, some of the upsides and some of the potential downsides of these devices. So we'll start with a basic look at them. This is the monitor, it essentially tells you what you're going to be paying, for example, per day. And um, as I'm sure you can imagine, um, in the winter, prices have gone up, as you would expect. And right now, at eight in the morning, we've already used £1.67 of electric and gas. Now, I've got the heating on, drying some clothes, with a window open, don't worry. Um, well, on vent. And of course, I've done some cooking and things like that this morning. Hence, we've used £1.67. So this is the monitor. Now let's have a look at the actual smart meter itself. So in here, this is a cupboard in our house, and this is where you'll find the smart meter. It ties into your existing uh, gas and electric system and your fuse box and whatnot. And these two devices here essentially make up the electric part of the smart meter. And then down here would be the gas part of it. And these two devices send that information back to your provider via the mobile phone network. So let's start with the positives. These devices make it easy to monitor what you're using. Now they won't save you money, um, like these companies tend to say, um, just by virtue of being installed. But what they will do is enable you, for example, to realize that it might use more electric to heat up a saucepan of water over a period of time versus first boiling the kettle and then heating it um, the last bit in the saucepan. The kettle has a higher uh, capacity element um, so you could say you know it's a three kilowatt element that heats the water quicker than what it would do wasting that energy by heating it on the hob where some of the heat is lost to the environment because of the nature of the hob itself. So it will enable you to actually notice things like that and say, oh, okay, well, or perhaps my electric shower uses a lot of electric. Maybe I can cut down a minute or maybe I can just turn it off like um, while you're putting on your conditioner and that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, they, it's a 10 kilowatt electric shower and it does use quite a bit of electric. So you might actually, over the course of the year, save a bit of electric by doing that. And this will help you with that. So it doesn't save electric um, by virtue of itself being there. Um, because it in fact actually uses a tiny amount of electric to run, but it will enable you to make those savings if you decide to look at what it's using and whatnot. So that's the positives. Um, it also gives you more up-to-date information on its usage, um, whereas before you'd have had to probably wait until the end of the month and maybe you'd see, oh, this is what I used. So that can be useful. Um, the negatives are in theory, in theory, um, this sort of thing could be used to track your whereabouts um, because it, a, a sort of a, a bad actor might be able to look at this and realise that if you're using a lot of electric, there's a good chance you might be home or your heating might be on, for example, um, so or a lot of gas, um, and they might be able to then ascertain where you are and what times of the day you're there. So, you know, it, it could be open to abuse with that sort of thing. Um, also, potentially, government overreach. Um, not too much of an issue in the United Kingdom, but there is the potential there um, for government overreach um, to do things like potentially try and turn off your electric um, if you were considered to be a bad citizen, for example. Um, this isn't an issue right now, but these are just potential issues that could crop up. Um, there was ideas of, um, of poison coming from the EMF radiation emitted by these devices, um, but I don't think that's any worse than what you've got already in your hand, probably watching this video. So I don't think that personally is much of an issue. Um, so in terms of positives, yes, it, it can help you to reduce your usage and it can help you get more accurate bills. And also you don't have to worry about people knocking on the door saying, oh, I'll come to read your meters because the smart meters doing all of that for you. So negatives, potential for misuse, and also potential for um, job losses um, for, where, for people who do the meter readings and whatnot. Um, but they tend to work for fairly big companies and um, it's likelihood that they could um, be redeployed in a different sector. So would I recommend getting one of these devices? 
Um, well, it depends on your usage case. If you haven't got one already, and there's no incentive for you to get one from your um, energy supplier, I'd probably say you don't really need one. <clears throat> Uh, but the market does seem to be moving towards providing incentives for people who use these devices, um, perhaps in the form of cheaper electric, uh, cheaper gas, but for how long that'll last, who knows. So this, this is actually a touchscreen device, which is kind of cool, and you can look at all your different settings and whatnot on there, and dimming settings, and you can have it display cost instead of kilowatts or CO2. Um, I have it display cost because at the end of the day, um, that's what I'm going to judge it based on. That's what it costs me out of my bank account every month. So I'm going to do it based on cost. You can see we've now used £2.13. So for you, you have to make your own judgment, but I don't think they're quite the negative thing um, that they made out to be, at least right now. Like I said, they are open to abuse, potentially, if they could be hacked. Um, and that could be, depending on which country you live in, that could be your government doing that. As it stands right now in the UK, we're okay with, with our government <laughs> for the most part, but in certain other countries, for example, North Korea or China, it could be an issue. So that's been my 2024 review of the British Gas Smart Meter. There's probably slightly newer versions now, but they'll be likely much the same as this. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please remember to hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe, share this video on social media, and uh, go ahead and check out my Patreon as well. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and have a great day.